Welcome to Bethany on this Easter Sunday morning where we are leading people to experience God's love, know Jesus Christ, and grow in his image. My name's Thomas. I'm one of the pastors, and this is our Tizé-style contemplative worship service. Uh, it is Easter Sunday morning, and we are excited to celebrate that Christ is risen, and Christ is risen indeed. Alleluia. Uh, before we get started in this worship service, uh, I'll remind you to register your attendance online. You can also go to our website to submit prayer requests and to give online to continue supporting the mission and ministry of Bethany. Uh, I hope that you can find ways to stay connected to our church, uh, this worship service being one of them. But as vaccines are more widely distributed, we know that more and more people are able to come to things in person and uh, not have to worry. And we're so thankful for that. And so uh, check out our website for things coming up that you might be able to participate in. And we are looking forward uh, when it is safe for you uh, that, that you can come and be a part of more things in our Bethany Church family uh, here at church and not just online. Uh, we are excited we can still connect online right now, though, and we are going to worship Jesus together. I invite you to, to bow your heads and let us begin with a time of prayer. Jesus, there is much to be thankful for and much to be excited about this morning. We celebrate that you are risen, that, that you have conquered death, that you give us your new life. So we invite you into our lives today that you could pour out that new life on us, that you could make us more spiritually alive Come and have your way with us and be glorified as we worship you. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Oh. 
Our first scripture reading today comes from Psalm 149, verses 1 through 5. We'll read this scripture three times, and each time I will pose a question for you to meditate on. Our hope is that we would uh, open ourselves up to allowing God to, to speak through his word specifically into our lives. And so as we begin reading this and we read it a first time, uh, just pay attention to whatever word or phrase stands out to you. Praise the Lord. Sing to the Lord a new song. His praise in the assembly of the faithful. Let Israel be glad in its maker. Let the children of Zion rejoice in their king. Let them praise his name with dancing making melody to him with tambourine and lyre. For the Lord takes pleasure in his people. He adorns the humble with victory. Let the faithful exult in glory. Let them sing for joy on their couches. What word or phrase is God using to speak to you today? As we read this scripture a second time, I'll invite you to consider what is God saying to you through that word or phrase? <clears throat> praise the Lord. Sing to the Lord a new song, his praise and the assembly of the faithful. Let Israel be glad in its maker. Let the children of Zion rejoice in their king. Let them praise his name with dancing, making melody to him with tambourine and lyre. For the Lord takes pleasure in his people. He adorns the humble with victory. Let the faithful exult in glory. Let them sing for joy on their couches. What is God saying to you through this word or phrase today? As we read this scripture a final time, I'll invite you to consider how is God calling you to respond to his word? Praise the Lord. Sing to the Lord a new song. His praise in the assembly of the faithful. Let Israel be glad in its maker. Let the children of Zion rejoice in their king. Let them praise his name with dancing, making melody to him with tambourine and lyre. For the Lord takes pleasure in his people. He adorns the humble with victory. Let the faithful exult in glory. Let them sing for joy on their couches. How is God calling you to respond to his word today? This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
Let us pray. I invite you to take a deep breath in. Breathe in the Spirit of God. The presence of God is all around us. God's Spirit is living in us. Now exhale. Breathe out all of the distractions, all of the burdens that you have with you today. God, it is good to be in your presence. It is good to know that you are with us right now. Your Holy Spirit, you're our comforter, our counselor, our guide. We give you thanks. Thank you for all the ways that you are at work in us. Thank you for all the ways that you are at work in the world around us. God, particularly today, uh, we celebrate the resurrection of Jesus. That victory that Jesus has over sin and death that we get to enjoy also. And so we bring our brokenness, we bring the messy parts of our life, and we say, Jesus, come and give us new life in the brokenness. Come and take the the messy and damaged parts of our life and heal us and make us new. Come into the places where we need your resurrection and raise us up. Lord, we lift up the world around us. We give you thanks that vaccines are uh, continuing to be distributed. We give you thanks that uh, you are uh, making a way for us to move out of this pandemic. We pray that you would continue that, God. We also lift up our church, and as we come out of such a a weird season and a year where we have been uh, disconnected and scattered in so many ways. I pray that you would help us as a church uh, to be able to come back together. I pray that you would come and unify your body of Christ at Bethany. Show us how each one of us is being called to play a role in the ministry of Bethany and the world around us. I pray that we could be a church that loves our neighborhoods so well, that continues to be connected with those that we uh, live near and work with, that we maybe have gotten to know a little better during this last year. God, as you gather us together, grow us, transform us, and equip us so that we can then be sent back out into the world in your name. We want to be a part of that resurrection work taking place uh, across this area and in many people's lives. So come and use us, God. We pray all of this with the name, uh, with the words that our risen Savior taught us to say. Our Father, who art in heaven, 
hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. Our next scripture reading comes from John chapter 11, verses 20 through 27. When Martha heard that Jesus was coming, she went and met him, while Mary stayed at home. Martha said to Jesus, Lord, if you had been here, my brother would not have died. But even now I know that God will give you whatever you ask of him. Jesus said to her, Your brother will rise again. Martha said to him, I know that he will rise again in the resurrection on the last day. Jesus said to her, I am the resurrection and the life. Those who believe in me, even though they die, will live. And everyone who lives and believes in me will never die. Do you believe this? She said to him, Yes, Lord. I believe that you are the Messiah, the Son of God, the one coming into the world. I invite you to close your eyes. And as we consider this passage, I'm going to ask some questions. I want to invite you to meditate on some of the meaning in this passage, and then I'll read it one final time at the end. Martha and Mary's brother Lazarus has died and been buried. They had sent word for Jesus to come and to heal Lazarus before he died, but Jesus did not come in time. In this passage that we just read, we see Martha feeling that Jesus did not do what he could have to keep Lazarus from dying. And just as 
Martha expressed this to Jesus. I wonder if there are places in our lives where we need Jesus to come and be at work, to come and keep something from dying, or to come and to give us new life. I invite you to consider what is it in your life that you need Jesus to come and give you new life. And would you take a moment, and like Martha did, would you share that with him? Jesus responds to Martha, but he does not immediately make the situation better. It's interesting to see uh, that his first response to Martha is to point her back to himself. Jesus tells her, I am the resurrection and the life. I wonder, how is Jesus drawing you back to himself right now? How is Jesus calling you to recognize that he is the resurrection and the life? When we are close to Jesus, we get to enjoy that new life and the resurrection that happened to Jesus also gets to be applied to us in this life and in the next. What Martha uh, had to do, she had to answer the question that Jesus asked. Jesus asked the question, do you believe this? And Martha answered, yes. And then she reiterated what she believed about Jesus, that he is the Messiah, the Son of God, the one coming into the world. Would you take a moment, like Martha, to answer that question? Do you believe that Jesus is the resurrection and the life? I invite you to take a moment to to answer that question to Jesus in your own words, just you and Jesus. Tell him, what do you think, what do you believe about him? I want to read this passage one more time, and you can keep your eyes closed and just listen and be attentive to whatever it is God might want to show you as we read this one final time. When Martha heard that Jesus was coming, she went and met him while Mary stayed at home. Martha said to Jesus, Lord, If you had been here, my brother would not have died. But even now, I know that God will give you whatever you ask of him. Jesus said to her, Your brother will rise again. Martha said to him, I know that he will rise again in the resurrection on the last day. Jesus said to her, I am the resurrection and the life. Those who believe in me, even though they die, will live. And everyone who who lives and believes in me will never die. Do you believe this? She said to him, Yes, Lord. I believe that you are the Messiah, the Son of God, the one coming into the world.
This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. I want to thank you for worshiping with us on this Easter Sunday. We are excited to celebrate that Christ is risen. Christ is risen indeed. Alleluia and Amen. I hope that as you go through this week, you can continue to live in that resurrection and new life that Jesus offers you and that Jesus has won for you. Go now in the love of God the Father. Go in the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ. Go in the fellowship of the Holy Spirit. Amen.